So the moped sold in a local auction. Only 10 bucks, that kind of hurt. Um, but anyways, it sold in a local auction and the guy just picked it up with a crane. He finally came to pick it up. It sold like a week ago. He picked it up with a crane. It was kind of amazing. And the pallet of pegboard is gone. They even took the pallet out of the way for me. So I made a rookie mistake. I left the overhead door into the loading dock open. We're about to find out if anything was taken. Uh, what makes it extra bad? We're in an area, does not a lot of traffic coming through here, but I had right in front of it posted the free pegboard. Now that's gone, but people are still coming expecting free stuff. Doesn't look like anything was stolen, so that's a good sign. Merchandise doesn't look rifled through. Yeah, I think we're all good. I uh, have never done that before. What about over here? That wasn't taken. The carpet cleaner is still there. Uh, yeah, I think we're good, thankfully. It looks so nice having this. This area hasn't been open since Toys R Us closed a year and a half ago. All right, well, now I'm gonna load up the trailer. I don't know why I'm pointing there. The trailer isn't there. I'm gonna load that up with all this stuff that's going to the storage unit. So all of these lights, they were on the pallet racking inside. I was going to put them back on, but I would need an electrician to hook this kind of thing up. Basically, just hook up a light switch that connects to this, and then I can plug them all in. I realized those LED lights you saw earlier from the Toys R Us ones, those just plug right into an outlet. So if I get some more of those, I can use that instead. So I'm just going to sell these. Um, yeah, these are here. They're free. I already own them. I'll have to go buy more LEDs for the other ones, but it's going to be cheaper to buy LEDs than have an electrician wire up a, a light switch and everything. So instead, I'll take these lights and mount them back here. This will be nice, well lit. Unfortunately, they're not metal, so the high-powered magnets that I have aren't going to work to uh, attach them like I was planning on with the other ones. But they're light enough where I could probably just put command strips up and that'll hold them up. I think that's what I'm gonna do. So this morning with that pegboard, I woke up to 12 people interested in grabbing it. So I copied and pasted the same message to all 12 of them. I said, yes, it's still available and then sent them the address. Um, that was about 6.30, 7 o'clock this morning. About 10.30 it was picked up and almost immediately after I marked it as sold. Facebook Marketplace. Uh, so far, like four people have showed up. It is now 2.30 and someone, oh, he's finally leaving. Guy showed up, talked to uh, one of my employees. Apparently he was very upset that the uh, pegboard wasn't here. Despite the fact that, maybe that wasn't him. The dealership's moving cars. The dealership's moving a lot of cars out of here. Nope, that was him. He's gone now. Anyways, uh, he sat here for a good 45 minutes um, doing Lord knows what, just sitting in his car. But apparently he was very upset that it wasn't still available. I mean, it was marked as sold. And you showed up like hours after I said it was available. That's why I don't like doing Facebook Marketplace. So we got the cart crowds out. This area's been empty for the first time in a year and three months or four months, whenever they closed. These boards are staying here. Uh, those little boards are going to the trash and I guess I'll leave this pegboard here for now. This needs to go inside and before we load these up, I need to get the clothing out of it. But the trailer's almost full. Got the shoe benches out, although those were only here for a couple of months, so it wasn't that long. I decided this isn't gonna work on those doors. By the way, all these boards under here, the doors for my um, shelving in the warehouse that's not gonna work, so I'm just gonna put those on a pallet and I'll just have to move three out of here when I get a truck here. Two pallets of merchandise and a pallet of doors. The merchandise won't be here too long. We got a dollar sale in a couple weeks, so we'll be able to sell it off then. Still need to get all these guys out. This will be the next load, as will that. But I should be able to fit this one in, and I think that's gonna be about it. All right, and the trailer is full. Got the car corrals, shoe benches, some of the bins, some of the racks. I could fit more of that stuff in here if I wanted to, but I'm still gonna have to make a second trip, so might as well not make it difficult to unload. All that's left is gonna be these racks, that cart, which is part of those racks, and then those two dump bins, and that's it for the storage unit. This stuff, the blankets are going in the trash. They are all moldy from sitting on the floor in here. 
Um, so this is, other than the blankets, going up into the main warehouse. The blankets are going to the trash. That, I've got some of these in the warehouse being stored right now. I might just throw that one in the storage unit though. The clothing in here is going in the warehouse, as well as these signs. These go to other fixtures that I have. That is a sign that's going into the warehouse for now. I'm gonna grab this before I forget what it goes to. This, not sure if all of these is kind of crappy, but it goes to that. I wanna get this carpet out of here. This has been here since I moved in. It originally was up there. Um, it's kind of nasty. I'm kind of dreading getting it out of here, but I'm gonna get this out of here. Uh, this is going to the warehouse. It unfolds into a clothes rack. And that's it. Now, once I'm done, I should have another one of these somewhere. Uh, once I am done, this I'm going to put with the lights. Um, had I known I wasn't going to use those lights, I would have just scrapped it. But I didn't because this actually goes with those lights that I decided recently I'm getting rid of. It's got this special end. Um, no sense keeping it. And I decided I'm not going to do scrap metal anymore. So I'll just sell it with the lights. Probably just throw that in the trash. A um, couple things here. Uh, the, those three items need to go top side. So does that. And that's it. Now what I'm going to do, wow, sorry, dizzy. Uh, then what I'm going to do is sweep out some of the stuff on the floor. And then I've got a hose connection in here. I'm going to hose down the floor. We do have drains down here. Another reason I want to hose down the floor is because these drains, there's just gross murky water in there. That sits forever. I don't know if something's clogged or what. It's never overflowed though. So it'll maybe cycle some more of it through if I hose the area down. Trailer's all emptied out. Car corral's leaked a little rust. Uh, but got them loaded into my storage unit. If you don't remember, this was all the shelving that was in my garage out of Shopco. I think everything in here is from Shopco with the exception of the Toys R Us cart corrals. Yeah, looks like it. So yeah, we've got, I brought in the shoe benches today as well as those two, the two gray bins, one of the rounders as well as this rack. Uh, those two things right there and the cart corrals. And I just realized I wanted to sell that blue table. I guess that will stay here for a while. But I do plan on pulling these out when I do dollar sales, so that will give me access to that thing. And all of this stuff is on wheels. Why is this stacked up there? Well, it was supposed to go in the other unit. I don't want to back this thing up to the other unit, and I don't want to carry this all the way across to the other side of the property. So here's where it will stay for now. So on a side note, one tip that I have for storage unit buyers, once you empty out a unit, take a photo of it empty, uh, where you can clearly see the unit number and everything. The reason is, well, you could have sketchy um, storage facility people who will just try and keep your deposit and say, oh yeah, it wasn't emptied out. Um, that's never happened to me. I've never had a, and just drop that. I've never had a sketchy um, storage facility owner, I guess. But I have had an instance happen where after I emptied it out, the, the tenant that had the unit filled it up again for some reason. I mean, your unit is completely emptied out. Why would you fill it up again? Anyway, so that's a uh, reason why you want to take a photo of it. And I think that may have happened again. I just got an email from the storage facility that said uh, unit 72 still has a lock on it and they're trying to charge me rent for it. Well, I don't know why I would have a lock on it. I sent him a photo. Unit 72, by the way, is the one that had the green upholstered chairs, the pedestal tables, the first unit I emptied. According to the timestamp on the photo I took, it was September 2nd at 1.01 p.m. I sent him that photo. I said, I'll go check on it. Maybe I forgot to take my lock off or something. I hope that's not the case because then I'll have to pay the rent for it for two weeks. Um, but I've done that before too. I had a completely empty unit. I had to pay for two months rent, like 300 bucks because I forgot to take the lock off. So that, that's possible. I'm pretty sure though that I took the lock off because I do have an extra lock now and I used all of mine. So I'm gonna run over there on the way home and check on it, but it's always good to have photos so you can show it was emptied out. All right, we are all loaded up. I hope these don't all topple over. They're much easier to lift when they're standing up like this. That's why I did this and I'm literally going around the corner. My storage unit isn't far. So I'll just drive slow. 
Let me show you what it looks like in here. Oh, we're getting there. So all that's left really is inventory and then one pallet. I've got these two pallets of inventory with a little bit on the ground. That's not garbage, that's inventory. I hope it didn't get water damage being on the floor. I didn't mean to set that on the floor like that. Um, so these, we're just gonna wrap them until I have the dollar sale and can sell it all off. It's just gonna be wrapped up so I can just pull it out. Uh, the sign will have to just come out. I've got a couple things on the floor over here. Um, those are going inside, those two are going inside, all this is going inside. And then, a little bit of trash, I gotta bring that rack inside, these hangers I'm gonna put, put inside, that's going inside, the carpet cleaner, the little sign there, this pile of hooks, that's going in the garbage except for the pegboard. And then this pallet, blankets going in the garbage, everything else is going inside. It hasn't been this empty in a long time. I can almost get a truck in here. So close. Really exciting. So I'm going to go get this dropped off. Hopefully that stuff is gone by the time I get back. But if not, I'm going to load it back inside because we can't leave stuff out overnight. And uh, go check on that storage unit. And then I'm done. And this was supposed to go to the storage unit. But um, it's not going to. It's too tall to fit in the trailer. And I'm too lazy to lift it in the back of the truck, and also I don't want to take the zip ties off. By the way, this looks unprofessional. Not that it really matters for a dollar sale. I look, this is exactly how Goodwill does this when they've got these on the end of their racks. They just have zip ties. Granted, they cut the excess off. So uh, this is going to get loaded, or just left in here. I've got another one in the eBay area. You've seen it many times lately. Um, I mean, we use them for the dollar sale, so it's not that big of a deal. And it's been in the dollar sale room. That's that office right there that I store all the dollar sale stuff. It's been in the dollar sale room other than when being used entirely for the last, what, two years now? All right, I'm going to make myself a beverage, and then I'm ready to go. I'm so happy that I'm not stabbing myself, turning that on. Santa Claus! All right, look at that gross microwave. I don't make food in here. That was, uh, I think Nolan, one of the employees, brought it in from home so he can reheat food. All right. Don't worry, I'm not drinking water. That's gross. You know, this thing is way over my head. Look how much height there is. Yet I still duck my head when I walk under it. All right, where's my Kool-Aid? Hiding on me right here. This stuff is delicious, by the way. Other than my morning energy drink, all I drink is water with this. It's sugar-free. It's got sucralose. Differing opinions on that, uh, for the most part, in my opinion. I don't want to get sued. It's perfectly fine, as long as you don't go crazy on it. It's healthier than sugar. So, um, I need two hands for this. This is my favorite flavor, by the way. It's a Walmart brand. But I also get the Kool-Aid ones too. I have a separate one for work that I have at home because I don't want to be drinking the same flavor all day long. Plus I automatically associate this flavor with work so it's not fun to drink at home anyway. But it's delicious and it gets me drinking more water which is much better than drinking all the sodas. When I was younger, no joke, I drank between one and two 12 packs of Pepsi every single day. I was well known to have a Pepsi in my hand whenever you see me. Don't do that anymore. Um, before I started drinking this, it was a lot of Gatorade, a lot of juice, which frankly isn't much better than soda. A lot of sugar in it. And there's diabetes on both sides of my family. So my late grandmother had it from when she was 13 to when she passed away at 80 something. Yeah, I don't want that, especially for how much sugar I love and how much I hate needles. So odds are, if I get diabetes, I will put myself into a literal sugar coma and slip away into the night, happy. So at least this cutting out like 10 pounds of sugar every day helps quite a bit. That's the only Raken slash Jameson style health thing that I do, cutting out sugar for the most part. I don't have a lot of sugar in my diet. I do like sweets, I'm crazy about sweets. Uh, not a big candy person, not a big pastry person, although I will eat them if they're in front of me. I do some pizza and tacos and chicken nuggets, and I really have the diet of a five-year-old. But 
According to uh, health insurance or life insurance companies, five-year-olds have the uh, the age with the least likely chance of dying. So that means five-year-olds must be onto something. Mac and cheese and chicken nuggets it is. Mac and cheese for life. I'm really rambling. Some people say they like this. Some people say they hate this. Well, you're just going to have to deal with it. It's my channel. You don't like it, make your own channel. Please don't make your own channel. I don't want the competition. Raken is already enough competition. If you're not subscribed, subscribe because, like I said, if Raken passes me in subscribers, I'm gonna have to start selling ebooks in every single video and courses. I'm gonna tell you about my friends who have this great business model of drop shipping every week, and you're gonna get 472,000 emails about the wholesale formula. I'll have to delete the video I have where the wholesale formula is, where I say the wholesale formula is not worth it because I'm gonna be selling it. So, uh, yeah, if you like this channel the way it is, you should subscribe. Like this video, too. I don't, I never ask that. A lot of YouTubers, every single video, like the video. I, I don't really do that. So, I'm asking you now, like the video, and then go back to all the other videos you watched and like those, too. Or dislike them. I really don't care, because if you dislike a video, I just realized I've got the leaning, those leaning fixtures in there. The leaning fixtures of Green Bay, kind of like the leaning tower of not Green Bay. Anyways, I need to be driving slower, more carefully. Is that my girlfriend? No. Same exact car though. It's a guy with a beard, so close. Anyways, um, where was I going? Oh, if you dislike the videos or leave a comment about how much you hate me and how terrible I am at making decisions and running my business and how I'm going to lose money, it doesn't matter. Comments and dislikes are also interaction and YouTube sees that that means people are watching and, uh, Oh, I think I just heard it collapse. And YouTube rewards me for that. This lady on the motorcycle has been sitting here since the last time I was here. I guess her bike must have died. Um, all right, so I am now at the storage facility. The one thing I hate, both of my units, I need to back up to them. This one that we're going to, I need to back up all the way to the end. I'm still not good at backing up a trailer, but I've improved substantially since I bought this thing. I never knew how. Don't say it's easy. It's like driving a stick shift mechanically yeah it's easy turn the opposite direction you want to go or let off the clutch slowly when you switch gears it still sucks it's still not fun and it's still not easy it's easy to explain it's not easy to do unless you've been doing it forever I need to put my phone down because I definitely need two hands to do this we are all backed up let's see how I did all right not so bad I'm constantly going like this when I back up a trailer yeah, I can live with that. This is my door. Trailer, door. Yeah, good to meet you. All right, let's get this unloaded. By the way, I did hit something once. Surprisingly, not, well, not because I'm bad at backing things up. I probably should have latched those. But because I was backing it as close as I could to a fence. That way no one could break in there. There was a bunch of stuff in there. No one could get in. Um, didn't realize that part of the fence was broken and angled up like this. Didn't realize until I didn't even feel myself hit the thing. It just, uh, it just did it. I noticed it. Oh, I noticed it when I got out and looked to see how close I was. All right, let's see how bad this looks. Holy crap. I half expected, I knew those were gonna fall into the wall. Let's get this thing open. It worked. I thought for sure these were going to fall back into the wall and I would have to slightly open the door to push them back up. And that didn't collapse either. I thought that was going to go too. I am a master at driving. I get really talkative at night, I guess. Um, so I just realized I may have forgotten the key. Oh, let's see if it's in here. I should really get a copy made so I have one in my car and one in the truck. Nope, got it right here. The reason, you might notice I never actually show the actual pins or whatever, the knobs on the key, is because I learned on, who was that? As a YouTube channel, it's relatively popular and their name slips past me. There's a guy named Brian, he's from some hacking show. Anyways, leave a comment if you know what it is, like Modern, Modern Rogue, that's what it is, Modern Rogue. Had a, had a video that shows how you can easily just take a picture of a key and make a copy of it. 
and since it's not hard to figure out where my storage unit is, I will not be letting you get a picture of this key. What the? I almost let one out. Look at the... What the heck is going on here? What is that? Is that two spiders doing it or something? He's got like 18 legs. And they're like two feet long. This is creeping me out. All right, now we're gonna get all of that into all of this. These are the ones that I brought here quite a while ago. They were, I think I brought them straight here from Shopco. Um, what else? I brought, you saw me here in a recent video. Look how packed up this is. I wish I had a better way to store these because I've got these up here, right there, down there, and down there. And I've got a cart full of them coming in, but I should easily be able to fit everything in here. So I'm not too, too worried. Maybe I'll move, shift that over there so I can lean them on this wall too. I don't know, we'll figure something out. So I'm trying to figure out a creative way to put these in here. I still got a decent amount left. You see my opening is getting smaller and smaller and I wanna be able to get stuff in and out. Uh, I decided to go here and I'm just gonna get these as close as I can there as possible. I didn't wanna go back here in case I ever need to get those carts out. I'm trying to plan ahead or if I need to get anything out, it's not gonna royally suck because that's what would happen with moving these. It would royally suck. There, that's not so bad. Um, okay. So I just got a message from Nolan, the guy that fixes my stuff. He also works for me full time, but he, he fixes my VCRs and stuff. You remember that PS4 that I got? I found a garbage bag full of clothing where the power supply is detached. He said it's a no-go. He's done screwing around with it now. He's getting sick of it. He did also say though, hold on. Um, wrong person. He says it's a no-go for now. I'm sick of screwing with it, but I might be able to resize the piece that the dude broke off. So it's still possible. At least that means he figured out what's wrong with it. Mosquitoes. Uh, but that also tells me, or, uh, let me rephrase that. Worst case, I can still get 75 bucks for it on eBay for parts or repair. And we're all emptied out. Tight fit, look how close. I didn't move either of those. That's exactly how I stacked them, completely unplanned. Couldn't fit that any better. But anyways, we're low on space. I do have that cart listed for sale with the others, so I really need to find a better way to store those, but not much that I can do there. I could lay them across here. They still hang over both sides though, and I do plan on using that for dollar sales, so that's not really a good option. I don't know. Oh, garbage can. I think I might do that. I've got some 55 gallon garbage cans. I think that's how big they are, the big brute ones. I've got some of those. Maybe I'll go to the Home Depot, get some wheels for them so they're easy to move and just fill it up. That's what I'm gonna do, problem solved. And it's gonna take up less space too. Another idea that I've thought of and it would work with the uh, uprights as well is to get hooks. Hooks, Jerry, just a series of hooks. It'll be perfect. But I'm not gonna do that and kudos to anyone who got that reference. I hope a lot of you got that reference. All right, let's go drop off the truck and trailer. Hopefully that furniture is gone and then we can GTF out. By the way, let me explain to you what GTF out means in case you guys don't know acronyms. That means get the French fries out. They will come out of the bag and into my stomach. Oh, my seatbelt warning is yelling at me. I don't know how much you guys love seatbelt warnings. All right, I'm not gonna ramble on the ride back to the warehouse, that, that's it. Uh, I'll see you when we get back. All right, I'm back. Furniture is still here, I gotta wheel that inside, but some good news, I was dreading how late this day is gonna be. I thought I had to go to the post office, but I forgot. I threw them in the mailbox this morning and put the flag up, they're already out. So I almost had a bit of a road rage incident. Uh, I was on the highway where two highways meet, so it was kind of a sharp corner. Guy must have been texting. He was all over the road. He hit the shoulder, across over the shoulder, and then he almost hit me. He was in the lane next to me. He came this close to hitting me. I had to slam on the brakes, and of course I wailed at the, on the horn and flipped him the bird. And, uh, you know, as I was going past him, I sped past him to avoid getting hit. Um... 
He followed me for the last 20 minutes all the way across town, exit for exit, from one highway to the next, to the next, to the exit, to the side, or to the next road. I wasn't gonna have him follow me all the way to a dark storage facility, so I pulled into a gas station parking lot. I don't know if he was following me to try to put a scare into me or what, but, um, or maybe he just happened to be coincidentally be going this way, which is odd. There's a guy in nice clothes and a fancy Cadillac. This is not a good area. This is a sketchy area. Seems odd. He'd be in, he'd be coming over here, but I mean, you never know. Um, so yeah, there was that. Also, after I flipped him the bird and everything, he caught up to me, got right next to me, tailgating the car in front of him just to get next to me, kind of giving me one of these, like, like, what's your problem? So I don't even think he realized he almost hit me. So anyways, we're right by the storage unit. Let's go check this out. All right, I'm at a storage facility in a sketchy area. What could go wrong? Well, here's the unit, and there is, in fact, a lock on the door. Oh, that's not good. I think that's one of mine. Oh, thank goodness. So I just tried my keys on it, and then remembered those Brinks locks, the only Brinks locks I had were the ones I bought at Menards. I did. Only, I only opened one package, which had two locks. And remember, I sold them to another storage buyer. So that is not one of my locks. I am not going to be charged for it. So I will let the storage facility know. And I'm very curious to find out what the story was behind that. So anyways, I think this video has gone on long enough. So this is where I'm going to leave it. That guy looks very angry in the window there. He's waving his hands around. So anyways, that's where I'm going to leave it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Oh, we're in the creepy darkness again. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one.